Bad Guys is the latest animated film from DreamWorks, and it's slightly better than okay. Honestly, the, the highlight here with this film is the animation. I will praise the animation. Every character in this film is super expressive, and it looks very different than all the other DreamWorks films. And at times even it looks like it's straight out of a comic book. You know, it's nice to see them trying different looks and styles of animation. However, in terms of some of the writing and humor, DreamWorks has apparently not matured up yet because most of the humor in this movie is the typical lowbrow fart jokes that are considered like the old reliable and like, come on DreamWorks, you've proven you're better than that. You made like How to Train Your Dragon and Kung Fu Panda and Prince of Egypt and all these other movies that you didn't need to resort to the lowbrow humor and like you could make really smart, really sharp movies. And this just feels so safe. Though the movie does have fun scenes of car chases and heists, and at times it kind of feels like it's kind of a kid-friendly Ocean's Eleven, but with animals. But, you know, the message, though, even though it is a good message, the movie is not a bad message, but the way it's presented isn't done in a new or different way. The message is, you know, don't judge by appearances, be careful about putting stereotypes on people, like, huh, a movie about talking animals, where the message is don't judge by appearances and don't stereotype. Why is this so familiar? It's because Disney already did this movie and it's called Zootopia. So yeah, and also, you know, the villain, the villain was really predictable. Like I could figure out who the villain was within like the first 20 minutes as soon as they came on screen, white guy, but they're the secret villain. Uh, I mean, if you're a kid, it might be a surprise, but again, all I can think is it just harkens back to the villain twist in Zootopia. It's the animal you don't think is going to be the villain because they look so innocent. And like, you did this again with Zootopia. So yeah, though, despite its predictability, the film did still have a few twists that surprised me. There were a few things, I mean, they weren't like mind blown or anything. There weren't any twists where I was like, oh, that was so brilliant. I didn't see that coming, but I can't say that I saw the twist coming. I was like, all right, that was kind of a smart twist. It wasn't like super surprising, but I was like, all right, I, didn't, I can't act like I saw every single thing that was going to happen in this movie. You know, but overall, it still feels very safe. It's not a bad way to kill 90 minutes, but the film isn't exactly a must-see either. You can wait to rent it at home. This isn't How to Train Your Dragon. This isn't Shrek. This isn't any of the movies where it's like, oh, it's so amazing, you gotta see it. They're like, you can wait a few months to rent this at home. I would say The Bad Guys for me gets a B minus, an eight out of 10, and a three and a half out of five stars.